Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 101 of chapter 13. The ball of mass M is guided along the vertical circular path R to RC cosine theta, where RC is the radius of the curvature. If this hinge was in the middle, we could easily use normal and tangential component, but or normal and tangential coordinate, but here we have to use polar coordinate because R is changing. If the arm has a constant angular velocity of theta dot zero, that means that theta dot is constant and it's the value is theta dot zero, so theta double dot uh, would be zero. Determine the angle, which would be less than 45, which means that we are not talking about when the ball is going uh, from the top down. Uh, before that, at which starts to leave the surface so whenever we hear the word leave the surface that means that there won't be any normal force so we have to set the normal force uh, to zero neglect friction and the size of the ball so there won't be any friction and we are analyzing the kinetics of a particle so the first step would be drawing the free body diagram so if i draw the free body diagram of the ball that would be the r coordinate that would be theta here would be the angle that I have the forces the weight bmg n again n is not in direction of r but perpendicular to the curvature the center of the curvature is here so n would be perpendicular to the curvature and uh, if both these radius are RC and RC, they are the radius of our semicircle. So these two angles have to be the same, theta and theta. And therefore, this would be theta. And of course, the force that the rod is acting on the ball here would be F uh, theta, which is perpendicular to R. So if this is R, the force would be in the direction of theta. These two lines, or these two are perpendicular to these two correspondingly, so this angle would be theta as well. Now I can write summation of my forces in R and theta to find uh, the unknown forces. So the question is uh, asking for the angle. So angle is not known. So let's set up our equation first. Summation of forces in R, M A R. So the forces that I have in R would be N cosine theta. You're gonna say N would be zero later on, but let's include that in our equation for now. And then we have R double dot minus r theta dot squared and then summation of forces in theta m a theta if you look at the problem we see that we have f theta we have our mg cosine it would have a component and then now also n sine would have a component so n sine theta plus f theta minus mg cosine theta equals m r theta double dot plus 2r dot theta dot so here n is zero because we want to find it at a point that the ball is leaving uh, the surface so m would be zero so that simplifies our equation we need to find r dot r double dot and the problem is telling us what theta theta dot is and what r is so then we can find our unknown which is theta theta and we don't need to use the other equation because the problem is not asking for the value for n so we know what r is but we need to find r double dot so r is 2rc cosine theta 
r dot is dr or d t but this is function of theta so i have to use the chain rule this would be theta dot so i get negative 2 r c sine theta also the theta dot that i have now i have to take another derivative to find r double dot so d over dt of my r dot i have two components one is theta dot the derivative with respect to time would be just simply theta double dot and also the derivative of sine theta 2rc would be just the, the constant value so i have negative 2rc the derivative of sine theta would be cosine theta i have uh, a theta dot because of the chain rule and multiplying it by theta dot the other component plus the derivative of theta dot which would be theta double dot times negative 2rc sine theta but because theta double dot is zero so i know just zero so i directly write it here cosine theta theta double dot squared the problem is not giving me any numbers or any value it's just a symbolic so i need to plug in a value here so n is zero i'm gonna deal with this equation i'm gonna bring it here and write it i have negative mg sine theta and then i have uh m r double dot which is negative 2 rc cosine theta theta dot squared minus r theta dot so r here for me is 2r cosine theta so 2r cosine theta and theta dot squared so if you look at this this would be negative 4rc cosine theta theta dot squared and i have m here and m here that be cancelled then i have negative signs here that can be cancelled and i want to find uh a theta so i have sine theta here and cosine theta i'm going to divide both sides by cosine theta so i get rid of the cosine theta on the right so that would be tangent theta and then here would be 4 rc theta dot squared and then i have a g divided by g Uh, therefore, uh, am I missing anything? Theta would be tangent inverse of four RC theta dot over G, and that would be uh, the value that I have for theta. So it leaves the surface. And we could go with that theta and find f theta here and it would be zero. But the problem is not asking for the force that is acting on, on the ball. Even if the problem had not given us 2rc cosine theta based on the geometry, we know if I draw here, this would be perpendicular and this is rc this is rc so that would be 2rc so that would be 2rc cosine theta would give us our r value 